Hello and welcome to Battlefield 1. You're right, this is not Battlefield 1. This is Verdun. The game released in the same year as Battlefield 1, but it's rather realistic and it's only made by a small indie team, so... Keep that in mind. This game tries to replicate trench warfare during the First World War. It unfortunately released a few months prior to Battlefield 1, so it got a bit overshadowed by the huge AAA game. I mean, come on, how unlucky is it that two first-person shooters set in the First World War released in the same year? Because there are not that many World War 1 games, if you think about it. So really unlucky for the small indie team, although World War wasn't a complete release disaster. It was rather successful, actually. Oh. Just people dying over and over there. We are playing in Saint Michiel. I hope I pronounced that right. Or Saint Michiel. I'm not French. Sorry. And. Verdun is the first of three World War One games released by this small indie team. And the second game is Tannenberg, based on the Eastern Front. And the third one is Isonzo, based on the Battle of Isonzo, the mountain. And Isonzo uh, released, I think, a year ago. And it's really interesting that, I mean, Battlefield 1 was the first game, or actually, I would say even say the first media in pop culture that actually presented the Battle of Isonzo during its campaign and represented it overall. Because the Battle of Isonzo is really unknown. So we're just getting blown to pieces here. That's it's really visceral. This game is much more visceral than Battlefield 1 is. Much more violent. So games can actually do good because if you think about the First World War, you always think about uh, trench warfare and the Western Front, sometimes the Eastern Front as well, but that's it. And no one really knew about, or even knows still about the battle at Isonzo and... Oh! A grenade saved me there. Or an artillery shield, I, I don't know. Oh, oh. We are attacking. And yet this game is so visceral and violent. It, it really tries to put emphasis on how brutal trench warfare actually was. And it still has active players. Oh. Gotta reload here. And I just wanted to show it to you because it's really a really fun game and... Oh, uh, save myself here. Oh! Again, they are charging. And it has a really interesting dynamic of attacking and defending objectives. Which tries to replicate trench warfare, although not perfectly, obviously, because who can actually show or replicate how it actually was? I think that's nearly impossible. But yeah, it's a really fun game and for a small indie team it's actually pretty impressive. It still has a few active players. It released in 2016, as I said, in the same year as Battlefield 1, so it got a bit overshadowed. Although people who are interested in first World War first person shooter games probably know about this game. But people who don't know about it or are not that deep into the topic should maybe take a look at this game because it's really good and really fun. And dying in this game is just normal. It's it's not annoying at all. It's just part of the game. You die, you respawn, and charge again. No, I actually switched sides. And I'm playing at the side of the Allied powers, or the Entente, or whatever you want to call them. Although. Allied powers is rather the is the rather appropriate term because at the Battle of Saint Michel 
the United States were involved, so we can't say ally powers. And actually the United States proved uh, during this battle how capable they were because it was an offensive led by them and against the Germans in 1918. And they earned their respect from the French and British soldiers there. It's really nice how the game creates a feeling of pushing or defending a trench and it's really fun. So check it out. I think it's if it's on sale it's like only one one euro or one dollar. Wherever you live. Oh wait, it's enemies, right? It has a few bots in it. If a server hasn't uh, 64 players, then bots are created to fill up the space. Although the game has still enough players to always populate one or two servers. Alright. So I just wanted to show this game because I think it's fun and you should check it out if you haven't heard about it. Or check out one of the other games in the World War One game series. For example, Tannenberg or based on the Eastern Front or Isonzo based on the Italian Front. A lot of people don't even know about. So yeah, I'm gonna make a few historical videos about Battlefield 1 soon and I hope you enjoyed it. Charge!